Hi everyone, this is Anne and I'm going to begin by showing you the post that was posted on Twitter and that's the imp inspiration of today's video. So look at this picture. Do not tell me this is not the most perfect skin. There's, I don't see any pores. Like if there's any pores to be seen, they are incredibly small. Actually on the small size of like pore sizes because pore sizes is mostly genetic even though it can be influenced by your diet and uh, sun exposure and maybe if you get older and your skin loses elasticity but when you're young like that a lot of your um, the pore sizes are determined by genetics her skin is so luminous beautiful and she says how can i eliminate the texture on my skin which texture <laughs> skin <laughs> like skin texture like, this is literally what beautiful healthy skin looks like i'm so sad she can't see this herself so look at this girl she shows her skin as if it's not perfect already and then she's like oh look at this was my skin before and now it's like this like what you had perfect skin and then you made it shine and i see this often i am on some facebook groups about skincare and then often i see posts like this so here this girl is sorry for the horrible close-up please suggest something for my grainy skin texture does she mean a little bit of like those little bumps you can see still overhaul? She has such beautiful skin. It's nice and plump. It is, there's no lines, there's almost no discolorations. To me, it's just beautiful skin. I'm like, I hope you're not sad about that skin because I think a lot of people would be so happy to have that kind of skin. And then this is also someone, she's 33. She says, what can I do for these kind of lines? Are they wrinkles? I have this all over my face. Those are not wrinkles. That is skin. Your skin can actually look like that. It can also depend on if you live in a, a dry area or an area with more humidity. If you uh, your skin is hydrated, maybe you're going through some stress or can be hormonally related as well. But I don't see anything wrong with that skin. There's not even lines yet. Okay, those are not lines. So there were all, there are always a lot of replies. And some woman said, the sooner you start Botox, the better. Sorry, everyone, it's my experience. Basically, start Botox when your first expression wrinkles appear. That way you can freeze your face at that stage. Later, when you have deep and visible wrinkles, Botox can improve things, but it's just improvement. Wrinkles are not reversible. So basically, like you want to do Botox your entire life. If you start Botox too young, like she looks like she's young. Like if you look at her face... It looks like she's young. Someone else said, you are literally perfection. What I do to have a face like yours is all about perception. For some people, it would just do anything to get that skin, to get that face, to get that plum skin. Someone said, very important, starting Botox too young can actually make you look older later due to muscle atrophy which leads to sagging. Wrinkles aren't the only thing that makes you look old. The reason why so many Gen Z look older than us millennials is because they overdone the Botox and fillers too young and it actually aged them. And that's a really good point. If you do Botox, fillers, any cosmetic procedures too young, you will actually end up looking older sooner. And often the case, I've seen this so many times. Beautiful girls, even girls who were super popular, for example, there was a girl from Temptation Island. She looked so beautiful to me. And then she still got all these procedures. She's got fillers and stuff like that. And she looks so much older now. And I'm like, why did you do that? Why did you even feel that you needed that in the first place? And then there's people saying, oh, you should get Botox to prevent those lines. Lines really doesn't make anyone older. I've seen a kid. I mean, it can be annoying to you. And you like nitpicking your face in the mirror and this and that line. And when you look super close in the mirror, you're going to look weird. <laughs> you're going to be like, oh my God. <laughs> But I've seen kids with lines on their face. I've seen kids actually, and some people were also saying like, what do I do about these lines on my neck? What a, can you see it here? This line, I've had that since I was a kid. I'm like, aren't you supposed to have those lines? I've had this all my life. My two and a half and four, four and a half year old kids have these lines. <laughs> it's like, what are we thinking that those things need to be fixed and that they are abnormal? And that's literally normal. <laughs> then there's this girl. How can I get rid of this awful skin texture? I seem to get closed comedones around my mouth. So I see a few pimples and you can definitely address that, see what, what causes them and try to treat it. But overall, your skin is beautiful. <laughs> it's not awful. There's no awful skin texture to be seen. 
there's some pimples, so what? But <laughs> it looks beautiful. And we are nitpicking every little thing that we see as imperfect based on these pictures that we can see online sometimes of, oh, my glass skin, glass skin here and there. I am a 39-year-old board-certified dermatologist. Glass skin is another trending TikTok term that just simply does not exist. My focus is on cosmetic dermatology. I've studied over 12 years in order to become a dermatologist. And as a skin expert, I can confidently say that glass skin just simply doesn't exist. Your skin is a living, breathing organ that fluctuates, not just with your mood, but your hormones, your environment, stress, you name it. The goal with your skin is to have a happy skin with a minimal inflammation so it can remain in a steady, happy, balanced state. But then this glass skin, often it is manipulated, often it's filters, it's not real. Sometimes it's just when they put on all the skincare products, their skin is nice and hydrated and shiny and they, they pose in the lighting and then they're like, oh, look at my face. Um, but then hours later, their skin doesn't look like that anymore or in a different light or with shadows or whatever. Some people genetically, they have sort of very fine uh, pore texture and more of that glass skin look. You often see it in Asian people, but that's often genetic. And when I see this before and after picture of people who try to get glass skin and they use, for example, tretinoin or a, a strong retinol or something and they get very shiny skin that... It's almost all one color. I often don't think it looks better. Like if I look at before and after pictures, sometimes I like the before picture more. Like it had more color in the face and I just thought they looked better. And even though their skin is objectively smoother and like shinier after, I like it less. I don't know. if that's just, Is that just me? Is there other people who see it that way? But I've thought that so many times. And then I see these people all the time with this beautiful skin. Look at this woman. She says, my nose. No product has been able to get rid of, a, of or clear my nose. She tried all these things. Tread, BHA, AHA, astringent, manual exfoliants, blah, 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 blah. Her skin looks so beautiful. She looks so beautiful. Her skin, her nose pores are normal. You're supposed to have those things on your nose. Look at me. See? Can you see it even? I don't know, but you're supposed, that's actually, that's supposed to be on your nose. Like, you cannot get rid of that. You can try and have those strips and shit, but <laughs> no one is going to talk to you and be like, oh my God, her nose, like, she really needs to do something about those. Like, no one's, gonna, <laughs> no one's gonna pay attention to that. No one's gonna see it because there's nothing to see. You look beautiful. Your skin is amazingly beautiful also. Wouldn't, ha wouldn't want to fix anything. Also, this woman, I'm on Curology, Tread, blah, 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 blah. The goal is to even out my complexion, smooth texture, and get rid of the dark circles. A lot of this is genetic. You sometimes cannot get rid of that. Um, I had it all my life. Like this little bluer under my eyes. See that? I had it since I was a kid. I had a best friend and she was always like, why is there blue under your eyes? I remember her asking me this and I'm, that was the first time I became aware of it. Because before, no one had told me about it and I started paying attention to it in the mirror, I was like, oh yeah, I have blue under my eyes. Why do I have blue under my eyes? I started like using concealer and stuff to cover it up. But often that is genetic. So I still hope those people do not feel bad about their face because their skin is so beautiful. Here is someone, I'm not experiencing any peeling or irritation. Today I check my skin in the sunlight and this is what it looks like. Okay, if you take a mirror and you go around your house, look and nitpick your skin close up everywhere you go in certain shadows, you're gonna be like, whoa, this looks a bit fucked, but looks a bit weird. What the hell is that? Like, you're not gonna have a doll like face. Most people are not. You can exfoliate it into oblivion and try to get that smooth, shiny skin. So, some people it's possible. For some people, it is um, too irritating or they can't and they give up. The thing is, though, it doesn't make your skin ugly. It doesn't make your skin less beautiful. It's often we are nitpicking too much ourselves. I look at her skin. And I just see beautiful skin. She's like looking in the sunlight. If I do that, I see the same thing as, as she does. But I don't feel bad about that. I used to like sometimes do that. I'm like, oh my god. Because at one point, I did use... Um, my skin easily react to any type of moisturizer. And I easily get this little milias. I don't know if you can see it, but it's here. Like this little milia, like, like bumps. But I don't care anymore. <laughs> and I used to care about them more. But I pay attention to that. And I do think it is important to take care of our skin. And that's not just a vanity thing. First of all, for skin cancer, SPF, especially when you're in the sun a lot, um, it is important. And not only that, but your skin can actually impact your health and, lo and your longevity. There is actually growing evidence that damage to the skin can drive aging, 
aging, not just your looks, but also internally, inflammation, and even cognitive decline. So I have always worn sunscreen since I was like 20 years old. I'm 37 now, so I've always worn sunscreen every single day. I didn't use much else. Uh, sometimes I used BHA as an exfoliant sometimes or retinol. Um, vitamin C I've used a while also, it depends. But basically I can't do too many. Pro I, I'm, I have very reactive skin also, it's often a hit and miss. But what I've consistently used always is SPF to protect my skin. And I've also known about that research, how our skin impacts our internal body as well. And just to be careful, because I've known people who had skin cancer who did not use any protection. Um, and that's something you don't want, of course. Um, so yeah, I'd rather, you know, I'd be very careful with that. I'm also in front of screens a lot with blue light. So only zinc uh, products with zinc oxide, they do protect it against blue light. Which is good because I spent so much time in front of computer. And in the beginning, I did not know it even was something that was damaging to my skin. But I was always wearing sunscreen, physical sunscreen. You don't want to use chemical one because that does not protect against blue light. Um, I'm also developing my own skincare line. It's not out yet. I've been, it's been going on for two years now. I've had to do tests and a lab is working on it. It's a, a whole new brand product. It's completely new. I wanted something simplistic. I was often so overwhelmed with everything that was out there and all the products that did not work for me or sunscreen that leaves too much of a white cast or that's too um causes milieu on my face and just have all issues with it so i'm like i'm gonna make my own anyway that's not a video okay so i just want to say learn to love yourself a little bit more and not nitpick every part about your face often it is beautiful that you have some color to your face blemishes don't make you uglier when you have shiny glass skin and put it next to another like before picture it often does not look like you look prettier or anything like that your face is just shinier and smoother um if you like that good but don't beat yourself up if it's not working and if things keep irritating your face like step down take it simple just, you know <laughs> restore your skin barriers so many people compromise their skin barrier trying all kinds of products or too strong of a retinol or a tretinoin and start damaging their skin just in order to achieve that glass skin look and they want to they see others with that skin and they're like oh i wish i had that often their skin is already so pretty and i'm a little bit sad that they can't see that themselves Often their skin is already so pretty and I'm a little bit sad that they can't see that themselves because then I'm, I'm looking at these pictures and I'm like, what are they talking about? Or like saying that these pores... Our human skin is, is meant to look like that and not look completely, completely like one, one color, one kind of shiny surface. You don't see that anywhere in the world. Not with any tribal people, not with the longest living healthy population on the planet. Um, and what often drives, if you are scared about aging and looking older, you can help your skin with that. But also know that there's a lot more to it. We, lo we lose bone mass, we lose fat in our faces, things start sagging. That is actually what makes you look older, especially the fat loss combined with the sagging. Uh, not really the lines. If you put lines on a, on a child's face, you're still going to look like a child. But when you combine that with sagging, bone loss, fat loss, then you look older. But yeah, anyway, I just want to weigh in on that and have people realize they often look super pretty, even with some pimples, with some pores, with some lines. Absolutely stunning. I hope people learn to love themselves a little bit more and not compare themselves too much to... Um, People who genetically have more plum skin, like a lot of like some Asian people who have this plum like even skin or whatever, and not feel so bad about all these things or have insane expectations. Okay, so let me know what you think about this, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye 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 bye.